G'day, it's great that we can be here together and I'm coming to you from our church faith and I hope that you enjoy this message with us today. I'm going to read to you from John, this, uh, John 3 verse 1 to verse 17. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are the teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it's with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you the teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and we bear witness to what we have seen, but you did not receive our testimony. If we have told you, you earthly things, and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. We're going to read today. When we look at this text, sometimes we read John 3.16, the very familiar or very well known for God so loved the world as for God so loved people who think just like me or for God so loved people who set a certain verse up and therefore they are saved and in the next verse we see for God didn't come to condemn the world but to save us and Nicodemus comes to Jesus ask him what's the meaning of life what is the secret what is the meaning of this all? And Jesus says to him, you need to be born again, born from above. Now what born from above means in that time is your status needs to change. You are born within a certain status, and if you're born from above, from God, then you are included within God's people. You are God's. So you can understand that that you are a new person for us as Christians we see God through other people we see God through life and sometimes we want to just have the earth stand still and climb off because everything is just going either too fast or we don't make sense of this all but if we're born from above we see that we've been made new people by God. We can link that to revelations where the new heaven and new earth comes from heaven. The new Jerusalem, we are the new Jerusalem. We are included as God's people. And together we make the difference. I think it's important when we say that, especially with a festival like we have today that we can see that together we make a difference. Together we reflect God's light. God can be seen through us. May you see God through other people. May you experience God through His children. May you see that you've been made anew and that you can live a life eternally within God. May God's grace and peace be with you. Amen.